Hey everybody, Lewis here. Our Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, tonight we're going to do up some Japanese style barbecue chicken breast, boneless, skinless. And I'm going to do them up on the Weber kettle. Now, I'm going to do these up on a little different product that I'll show you in a bit, uh, but I need to get that chicken marinating. So let's get into the house, show you what I'm going to marinate them in. And we'll get this cook underway. It's gonna be good. Regulators! Mount up! For our uh, Japanese style barbecue chicken breast, what we're going to use, we're going to be using, you know, the uh, 26 inch Weber kettle, uh, but then we're going to be using Grillaholics grill mats. Uh, what's neat about these is they come in three different styles. Uh, you can uh, get them in each one. You have their standard uh, size. It's a, and this is a set of set of three. 15.75 by 13 inches. You get three in that one. Then they have their mesh ones. Uh, same size, but it's a set of two, which is kind of cool. You can see how they have uh, holes in there for the bacon, which is kind of cool dripping down. Uh, and then you have their heavy duty ones. Their heavy duty ones is a set of two, and we're gonna use one of them tonight. Uh, to put the chicken on. Uh, you can find these on grillholics.com. Uh, down in the description, I'll have a link and you can save 20% uh, if you use our shack barbecue uh, code in the uh, checkout under coupons. So let me show you how I'm setting up the Weber and uh, where the grill mat is gonna go. So what you see is I have my custom made uh, charcoal basket back there. Uh, I have some lump in it and then I have my grate on here. Uh, what you want to do is we're going to cook indirect. So this is the heavy duty uh, grill mat and we are going to just set it over here. It says that these things are good for up to 500 degrees. So we're going to try to keep it off of uh, the direct flame here and we'll set our chicken on here and see how they do. Uh, the other neat thing about these is they are washable. Uh, they just clean up so easy uh, and uh, you can use them for vegetables, for meats, everything that you could think of. You can use them on pretty much any grill out there. Uh, your gas grills, your propane or your uh, kettles like I'm going to use. Uh, you can even probably use it on a Blackstone uh, if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could uh, just because it's easier to clean. You can use them even on uh, pellet grills and even my uh, offset wood burner. Uh, these would be great on. So yeah, like I said, this is their heavy duty one. Uh, this is on a 26 inch kettle. Uh, you know it probably on a 22 
you have to be a little uh, creative as far as controlling the temp in there. No, so, that's how we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna run some lump and then some B&B uh, &B, uh, briquettes and we'll get into this cook. Be sure to go check out Grillaholics. Uh, if you find something else you want to purchase, go ahead and use R Shack Barbecue in the uh, coupon code. Save yourself 20%. Holidays are coming up. Now's the time to start buying this stuff for your uh, grilling buddies, as I like to call them. Let's see how these grill mats do. Start with uh, and with the um, what would be considered the bone side down first, or I'm sorry, the meat side down first. Even though uh, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Try to get all four of these like this. I'm putting the meatier side closest to the flame at the moment. Something like this, all right. We'll just let them go for a bit. But first, take some of uh, John Henry's pecan rub. We're just gonna take some and put it on there. I do like my John Henry's. Then we'll hit the other side when we flip them over. But we're gonna give it about 15 minutes and then we'll uh, check them. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, that lid is getting hot. Mm. But this chicken, oh, look at that. That is so good looking. Let's flip it over. Yeah, this chicken is gonna get done quick. Hmm. Now these grill mats are supposed to be super easy to clean, so that's gonna be nice. Let's get some seasoning on this side. Hmm. Oh yeah. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take a quick little temp of these. My thermopop area up and on. So we're about 147. Oops. See what we are in this one. So that one is done. What we're going to do is we're actually going to pull them back like so. They've been only on for about 15 minutes, so we're gonna just pull them back a little bit here. But we're gonna go ahead and let them go for, I don't know, we'll just say 10 minutes. And uh, then we'll come out and pull them. I'm actually gonna spin them here. So that other end here doesn't keep darkening up. And we gotta pull back some. So this should be all good, like that. How that grate is doing. Get some of that pulled back. There we go. All right. Let's give them about 10 minutes. Then they should be done. All right. Let's have a look at this chicken here. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Doesn't that look good? Those grill mats are doing awesome on there. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this bachans, 
Japanese barbecue sauce that we marinated this in. We're going to just put some on here. Like so. Mm -hmm. Kind of set up on it. Let's move them over here real quick. Get some grill marks going on these. One nice thing is that this here can fold up. So, well, you can see I've got the sauce on there. I don't want that to run all over the place. So, I'm just going to leave them here. I'm going to go get a plate. So I have something to pour that in. And uh, we'll go from there. Flip these over real quick. Kind of char them up. Mm. Right. So I'm going to put my gloves on for this. What I want to do, while those flames are kissing that chicken, I want to take this, set it like this. Let's just pour that juice out there. Because I don't want it to run on the uh, coals or on my grates. So we'll get that out of the way. Let's check this chicken while we're here. Okay. That one's definitely done. Oh yeah. Might have let them go a little too long, but hey. That one looks good. Get these off, get them in the house and eat them. This one here got a little charred, I'd say. <laughs> That's what we were looking for right there. Oh yeah. All right. Here is our Japanese Japanese barbecue sauce marinated boneless skinless chicken breast. Put a little more on there. Mm. That we also seasoned with John Henry's pecan rub. Let's just uh, cut into one of these and see what we got. Take a look at that right there. I'm telling you, it is so juicy right now. Mm, just dripping with juice. <laughs> Let's have a bite. Let's take a bite of our marinated Japanese barbecue chicken from Bachan, Bachan's. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. That's definitely good. Mm. That's, mm. those grill mats, they did awesome. Mm. Okay, so you saw how I did that. I uh, took those boneless chicken breast and I uh, put them in a bag and then I put this Bachan's, Bachan's Japanese barbecue sauce in there uh, as a marinade and I stuck them in the fridge. Uh, I had them in the fridge for about four hours uh, and then every 45 minutes to an hour I'd flip the bag over and things like that. Uh, then I went out and fired up the uh, Weber kettle. That was a 26 inch Weber uh, that we were using today. Um, those grill mats, you know, I use the grill mats. One grill mat would fit probably on your uh, 22 just fine. Uh, it seemed to hold up well. This is the one that I used and, uh, you know, I, they do fold, they're kind of, you know, soft. Um, all I did was I took it and I rinsed it off in the sink and kind of scrubbed on it. 
Uh, these are dishwasher sa safe, so I'll actually run this through the dishwasher too uh, to get it really clean. So yeah, it worked out really well. It held all the juices right up on the top there rather than having it go down into uh, the uh, kettle uh, and hitting the flames and flaring up like that. That worked out really well. Um, once again, like I said, you can find these on uh, Grillaholics website. And I'll have a link down below. Uh, save yourself 20% if you want to get some. Go ahead and order them. Uh, we will, I'm looking forward to using the mesh ones next, uh, which will be fun to use. Uh, so I put them, put the mat on there, let that grill come up to temp. Uh, I would say it was running about 400 uh, where I was at. Put the uh, chicken breast on. Uh, started out with the meat side, what I call the meat side of the chicken breast down, uh, and let them go for 15 minutes. They were kind of close to my indirect uh, part of the fire. Uh, they were kind of close to the coals, but not over the coals. And uh, in that 15 minutes, they were up to, you know, 140 all the way up to 165. So they were almost done. I flipped them over. I let them go for another um, 10 minutes and uh, kind of pulled them back off. Uh, so they're not as close to the uh, coals and uh, put a little more sauce on them, season them both uh, each side with that John Henry's and uh, these are delicious. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do up some rice, uh, have some dinner salad, cut these up and uh, eat well. So my first experience with grill mats, I like them. They seem to do real well. Uh, I will be doing them on a uh, pellet grill next. Uh, I'm really craving wings and I hear these are like perfect for that. Uh, so yeah, like I always say, you can do this too. It's not that hard. Thank you for watching. Until next time my friends, grill on.